Hey guys, Quentin from Fantrade.com here with Jeff from Sprint. He's going to show us the HTC Evo 3D just announced earlier today. Um, so tell us about this phone. All right, a couple things that are unique. Number one, it is a 4G device. Mm -hmm. It is also 3D. Um, it also has HTC Sense, uh, the latest version, which is a full carousel, so you can rotate completely through the UI back to your home screen, so mm -hmm. there's no, uh, no hunting. A um, couple aspects about it are the processor, it's 1.2 gigahertz, dual cross, dual processor, dual core processor. <laughs> um, it's a Snapdragon. Mm -hmm. Also has twin 5 megapixel cameras on the back. And is that a twin LED flash? It is LED? indeed. So nice. you can capture both uh, stills and video in 2D or 3D. Has a, uh, a toggle switch between 2D and 3D for okay. your capture. And that's your shutter button. Connection wise, this is uh, an MHL connection, mm -hmm. which is actually a, uh, a new connection that outputs both the HDMI right. as well as the uh, micro USB for charging. Okay, mm -hmm. so previously the Samsung Galaxy S2 was the only phone with that, now this has it. Yep. Okay. Um, so if we go into 3D playback, I've got a couple things here. And the users watching this won't be able to see the effect, but. Right. <laughs> um, but this is an actual file that is encoded in 3D. It recognizes that it's a 3D encoding, switches to 3D so it can be displayed. Um, this content isn't necessarily stuck on the device. Um, got a 3D TV, you can use the HDMI connection, output that uh, this file right to your TV as well. Um, Where's the HDMI? Uh, it's actually... Oh yeah, the MHL The MHL, okay. yep. <clears throat> um, we will launch with a, uh, a new version of the Blockbuster application that will have their full host of 2D content as well as 3D content. Nice. Another feature will be output via HDMI, so it'll be uh, a new feature for that as well. Nice. Um, do you have any demos of the of the content shot with the actual camera on here? Uh, absolutely. So we have, um, we have both uh, some photos. Mm -hmm. Um, these are actual photos shot with the device. Um, okay. We also have some video shot with the device. Uh, let's see here. So, we'll just go right to this one, give it a shot. And obviously, we've overlaid the audio, but uh, mm. collect it right from the device. Cool. It's quite amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Um, is that a front-facing camera in front, right? It does have a front-facing camera, 1.3 okay. megapixel on the front. Uh, do you know anything as far as RAM goes? Or Absolutely. Or internal storage? Yes, uh, so it has uh, 1 gig of RAM, okay. 4 gig ROM. Um, SD card will be 8 gig shipping. Uh, it will support up to 32. Okay. So a lot of storage. And obviously, just I mean, with the dual core, you can see how you know everything's very fast. Definitely uh, notice. Also, has a larger battery. It's got a uh, 17, 1750, right? 1750 milliamp. Okay. So nice. larger battery. Um, so as far as 3D goes, is this going to be content, or will you guys end up doing things like with the UI, or let developers do apps with 3D? Uh, I, I think you'll see um, you'll see content. You'll see games. I think you'll right. see uh, you know you'll see everything. Okay. I think uh, you'll probably see a boom in, in user-generated 3D content as well. All right. The um, the quick application will have the ability to uh, record and share 3D content, so you can upload that to uh, to YouTube. So there'll definitely be uh, a lot of content that we support as a result of it. All right, sweet. Um, and that is launching with Android 2.3. Yep, latest this. version of Sense, and w what's the time frame? Uh, this summer. This summer, yep. cool. And that's the HTC Evo 3D, uh, talking with Jeff from Sprint, Quentin from Thanks.